good. Dr. Duet Dowling is a preceptor in Rocky Mountain House. He's teaching intubation skills to Celia Walker, a third-year medicine student from the University of Calgary Cumming School of Medicine. Rural learning experiences like this begin with preceptors like Dr. Dowling, who step forward to teach the next generation of physicians. Cornerstone of a rural experience is the preceptor, so basically that's where we have to start, and I really want to build the rotations around them. In Southern Alberta, the University of Calgary Cummings School of Medicine's Distributed Learning and Rural Initiatives Program oversees rural learning opportunities for medicine students. As program coordinator, Rachel considers student preferences and then matches them with a preceptor. That's like kind of our main goal is to have these doctors really fall in love with rural medicine. Free housing is required for rural learners in the same community as the preceptor. So, Rachel puts in a request to RPAP to arrange rural accommodations for that learner. Rachel works closely with Shauna Banman from RPAP's accommodations team. Fantastic to work with. Um, it's uh, almost to the point where we can read each other's minds. I work really hard with Shauna to support any rural rotation that wants to go. Like if I have a teacher who wants to teach and a student that wants to learn, I really don't want anything like accommodations to get in the way of that. In Northern Alberta, RPAP has a similar partnership with the University of Alberta's Office of Rural and Regional Health. Sharon Long from RPAP's accommodations team finds housing for clerkship students and residents in the northern half of the province. Sometimes, a request will come in for a location where RPAP currently doesn't have any rented accommodations. When that happens, it's all hands on deck. Here's a recent example. Dr. Lana Fair in Arrowwood volunteered to be a preceptor. Arrowwood is a small village with a population of just over 200. We reach out to our rural partners in that community. Hey, how can we help? Do we have room and board? Is there a motel maybe that can take somebody? Is there a bed and breakfast? Eventually, a room and board was found for the medical learner in Arrowwood. RPAP manages about 120 rental properties throughout Alberta, all the way from high level in the north to Cardston in the south. We do see um, over 650 students in any given year using our facilities. A lot of them are wanting to bring their families with them on, the, on their rotation, so their spouses, their children, and we would really want to support that. We really like to um, make sure when they do stay in our accommodations, uh, the booking process is simple and their stay is very pleasant and positive. Accommodations usually come fully furnished. So they're fully furnished and equipped with your basic household needs. You know, you have your, your sofa and your love seat and your coffee tables. You have your desk and your chair, your dining room, your bedrooms. In the kitchen, we equip it with pots and pans and dishes and cooking utensils. All they have to bring with them is their food. They bring their bedding and personal items, you know, if they want to bring their bike with them. Students and residents are responsible for keeping their accommodations clean. RPAP arranges for contractors to clean, clear snow, and do landscaping. Landlords look after repairs. Since Rocky Mountain House is a regular destination for a clerkship, RPAP has rented this duplex for years. Ruth Berger is the landlord. In all the years since 2002, in any property that RPAP has rented, I have actually seen almost no damage of any sort. We have a lot of fantastic landlords out there. They are really keen on bringing these medical professionals to their community. Everybody wants a great doctor. During her year-long clerkship, Celia stayed in a duplex in Rocky Mountain House. It's been really great. Lots of space and five minutes away from the hospital, so I can do overnight call from home, which is pretty wonderful. Over and over we have students, learners come in and say, oh, these are really nice accommodations. We get that feedback a lot that they're pleasantly surprised by the accommodations in Rocky Mountain House. Goodies and swag from the town, county, and from our team. Heather Halliday is an RN in Rocky Mountain House and a member of the local Attraction and Retention Committee. He welcomed me to Rocky Mountain House, said if there's anything that I needed that I could reach out to her, and we set up a time where she took me on a tour of the town. We want our learners to feel welcome, to feel like they have a place here, um, not only as someone coming to learn in the hospital or clinic, but someone coming to live and play in our community. RPAP embraces the opportunity to work with both universities to meet their needs in housing medical learners in rural Alberta. 
And we are grateful for our trusted rural partners. From landlords, motel owners, bed and breakfast, Airbnb, and room and board hosts, to contractors who clean, mow lawns, and clear snow. To the local attraction and retention committee members who welcome learners to their community. It really does take a village to house a medical learner. Hi! <laughs> we honestly, we couldn't do it without them. There, there's a lot of pride in all the work that everyone does and we're very, very lucky to work with so many great, great rural partners out there.